welcome. This is an introduction to equations of circles. Right? So we're going to be learning how to do all of these things in this series of lessons. But right now, we're just going to learn how to write the equation of circle given the center of the circle and the radius. And actually, in this, this podcast, uh, the center is just going to be at the origin. And we're going to learn how that equation was derived. So this is just a brief introduction to equations of circles. And there are some things to write in your notes, and I'll tell you um, what, where those are. So as a little reminder, the geometric definition of a circle, a circle is a set of all points in a plane equidistant from a fixed point called the center. In this particular case, the center is at 0, 0. A radius is a segment whose endpoints are the center of the circle and any point on the circle. All right, so here we have the radius. We have two different radii drawn in here. We have this one, which is located at 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, 5, excuse me, 1, 2, 3, 4, 3, excuse me, 4, 3. I'm counting, looking at both of them at the same time. Thinking of the next one, 4, 3, and this one is at 5, 0. All right, so the radius can be found using the distance formula. And you don't need to write this down because there will be a place for you to, to fill in a blank a little later on. The radius can be found using the distance formula on the coordinate plane. Right, so let's call this radius radius 1 and we'll call this radius radius 2. And let's find these radii. All right, so uh, radius 1, R1, would be the square root. Oh, as a little reminder, so the radius is based on the distance formula. The distance formula is the square root. It's the difference in the x-coordinates squared plus the difference in the y-coordinates squared. All right, so... Our center here is at 0, 0. And so for uh, radius 2, this one, uh, we're going to use 4, 3 as the x2, y2. For radius 1, we'll have 5, 0 be the x2, y2. Here, and I'll, I'll write this one in red. I'll just be consistent. So radius 2, everything's going to be in red. Alright, so radius 1 is the square root of 5 minus, uh, and this is, of course, is x1, y1. That's the other point. All right, so the radius goes from the center to the edge. So radius 1 defined that length. We would take 5 minus 0 squared plus 0 minus, oops, did I put x2? That's supposed to be a y. 0 minus 0 squared. Well, 5 minus 0 is 5, so we have 5 squared. And I don't really need to put 0 minus 0 squared. That's just 0. And if I'm going to add 0, it's not going to change. So the radi radius 1 here would be 5 squared, which is, this, uh, excuse me, it would be the square root of 5 squared, which is, let's put it over here, the square root of 25. And the square root of 25 is 5. Where that equals there. Let's find radius 2. So we have the square root, so we take the difference in the x coordinates, so 4 minus 0 squared plus 3 minus 0 squared. Well, 4 minus 0, that's just 4, and 3 minus 0, that's just 3. And 4 squared is 16, 
and 3 squared is 9. 16 plus 9 would be 25, and the square root of 25 is 5. So see, they're the exact same length. And we should have expected them to be the same length because all radii of a circle are congruent. So it wouldn't matter which radius, I, which points I used to calculate the radius. I could use any point on the circle and the center of the circle to find the radius. So all radii of a circle are congruent. Right? But some radii are a little nicer than others. So for instance, I wouldn't really want to work with that point because I'm not really sure what that point is. Right? But I could work with, say, this point because I can figure that one out. That one is just negative 4, negative 3. And of course, I square negative 4 and I square negative 3, I'm going to get the exact same thing as I got for 4 squared and 3 squared. So no matter what radius I find um, for this particular circle, they'll all be 5. In your notes, a little blank to fill in. The equation of a circle is derived from its radius. And how did we find the radius? We used the distance formula. So that means the radius is based on the distance formula. What else is based on the distance formula? Well, if you remember from the beginning of the semester, Pythagorean theorem is based on the distance formula. All right, so let x, y be any point on a circle with the center at the origin and the radius r by Pythagorean theorem, x squared plus y squared equals r squared is the equation of a circle with the center at the origin. You already have that in your notes. Add to your notes that Pythagorean theorem, and we can abbreviate that, Pythag, that's the abbreviation for theorem, is based on the distance formula. Right. Right. So, and I could use any point on the circle to find the radius. It wouldn't matter which one I used. And we saw that in the last example. Right. So, it's the different, and if we're at the origin, right, we subtract 0, we're going to just have x squared. Right. So, here, Let's just take a look. So our center was at the origin, right? When my point was 4, 3, I had 4 minus 0 and 3 minus 0. So notice that's just the x value squared, right? Because subtracting 0 doesn't make a hell of beans, right? Doesn't make any difference at all. Same number when you subtract the 0, right? So no matter what point I'm given, so I don't want to put a squared there because I'm thinking I'm using Pythagorean theorem. I just wanted to put a y. No matter what point I'm given, right, we can use the exact same equation to find the radius. And our equation of our circle is based on the radius. Right? So I can use any of these at all. There's x, and there's y, and that's the radius. Right, so uh, notice that both the x and y terms are squared. Linear equations don't have any squares. Parabolas only have the x term. But for a circle, both x and y are squared right, because we're using the distance formula to write the equation of the circle. Because that's all a circle is. All the points that are the same distance away from the center. So of course we'd use the distance formula. If we're, and here you have some fill-ins for your notes. Uh, it's all the red words except the word edge. That's already actually been filled in, but it's still in red for some reason. If we're not given the radius, we can use the distance formula to find the measure of the radius. The radius is just the distance from the center to the edge of the circle. Suppose the radius is r and the center is hk. 
let x, y be any point on the circle. The distance between x, y and h, k is r, so you can use the distance formula to find r. All right, and let's actually do that uh, on the next page where I have a little bit more space. All right, so let's use the distance formula to find the radius of a circle with the origin as the center and any point x, y. Right, and so I'm doing this just to show you how the formula was derived. Now, that's a difficult point for me to work with. Right? I don't know what that point is. Right? Uh, I certainly can't use that to find the radius. I'm not sure where x2, y2 is located. You know, but I can maybe use a better point to find the radius. Right? So let's first of all use that point that we have there right, to start our equation over circle. And then we're going to do a little substitution. Right? So this is the equation of the circle. So we're going to derive the equation of a circle. And when we're all done deriving, I'm going to have you um, fill in one spot in your notes. So equation of a circle. So I'm going to use a distance formula. And we know that distance, and so we're looking at the distance from the center to the edge. And we know we can call that distance from the center to the edge of a circle. We, it has another name, right? We can call that radius. It's not just any old distance. That distance is the radius. So this is the equation of a circle, any old circle, right? That's with the center at the origin. So we have uh, the radius is equal to the square root of, right, so I'm going to take the difference in the x-coordinates. I know one of them, x, y, uh, y1 is 0, 0. Uh, x2, y2, I don't know what it is, so I'm going to leave it that way. All right, so, and I'm just going to call it, though, instead of calling it x2 and y2, I'm just going to call it x, y. Right? I don't really have to call it x2, y2. Um, since the other point is going to be 0, 0. So, right, so we have x minus 0 squared plus y minus 0 squared, because the radius is just the distance between the center and the edge. Right, well, if I'm going to subtract 0, that's just not going to change x and y. So I have r is equal to the square root of x squared plus y squared. Oh, gee, you know, I really don't like the square root in there. I'm going to square both sides, right? and then I'll get rid of the square. So I've got r squared is equal to the square root of x squared plus y squared, squared. And the square and a square root cancel. They're inverse operations. If I have a square root and then I square it, it undoes it. It's like multiplication and division, or addition and subtraction. So now I've got r squared equals x squared plus y squared. And that's the equation, that's the formula for the equation of a circle with a center at the origin. Any old circle at all. Let's write the equation of this circle. And to do so, we're going to have to find the radius. And for me to find the radius, I'm going to have to choose a better point. How about we choose this point right here? Right? This point here, 1, 0. Now I'm going to use the distance formula for this one, but I may not use the distance formula again for a point like that, and I'll tell you why in a moment. Let's just find the, uh, this radius right here. Let's use that point to find the radius, because this is also a radius. It goes from the center to the edge. Right? And so this is still going to be x1, y1 is going to be 0, 0. And my x2, y2 will be 1, 0. All right, so the radius is the square root of x2 minus x1. So that would be 1 minus 0 squared plus y2 minus y1, 0 minus 0 squared. Well, 0 minus 0 squared is 0. And 0 squared is still 0. And if I add 0 to something, it isn't going to change. So we're going to drop that in a moment. r is equal to, well, 1 minus 0, that's just 1. 
So the only thing left here is the 1 squared. And 1 squared is just 1. And the square root of 1, well, that's 1. Well, you see, I really didn't have to use the distance formula, right? Because this is a horizontal line. I think we could figure out that the length of that horizontal line was 1. But for our example here, I did use the distance formula. So now we could write the equation of this circle. The equation of this circle. Now we don't have to have r squared equals x squared plus y squared. And I'm actually going to flip those. I'm going to put the x squared plus y squared first. Now I can have x squared plus y squared equals, I know what the radius is. The radius is 1. So that would be 1 squared. Well, we should square that. 1 squared, well, that's still 1. So the equation of this circle is x squared plus y squared equals 1. That's the specific equation for this circle. So now you know how to write the equation of a circle at the origin. It's going to be x squared plus y squared, and then you're going to fill in the radius and square it. Right? And that's all there is to it. In your notes, and I actually did it over here as well, uh, in your notes, I want you to add the equation of a circle at the origin. So if you look down in your notes there, uh, I actually have the same thing that looks like written twice um, when I look at the, the text there. But if you go from where the circle is down to where it says circle is at the origin, I want you to fill in the equation. If the, cer the center is at the origin, then the standard equation is fill in in your notes x squared plus y squared equals r squared. Let's go back and look at my last example. It's going to be, I think, the last thing in this set of notes. Uh, and you don't have to write this in your notes. All right? Um, I guess I liked it so much, I did it twice. All right, so, but the equation for the circle is simply based on the distance formula because that's what the radius is, how, is to how the radius is determined, and the radius is what our how we find the equation of a circle. Right? So, um, this is the exact same thing I did on the other page. I think I did it a little bit more thorough because I included the specific equation for that circle. This is just the equation for any circle. We had already figured out that the radius is 1, so the equation for this circle is x squared plus y squared equals r squared, or excuse me, equals 1 squared, which of course is 1. The things that you should have in your notes, I think, let me just check, I think this is the last page right here. I know because I put in a blank page to tell me that's where I'm going to end the, oh, I have one more. We're going to do one more together. And then that's where I'm going to end the video. Right? And this one is not in your notes, but we'll get lots of chances to write some more in your notes. All right, so we're going to write the equation of the circle. All right, so r is 2. What's the equation of the circle? Well, we see the center is at 0, 0. Which is the origin. And the radius is 2. So... The equation of the circle is dot, 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 x squared plus y squared equals 2 squared. Now, we shouldn't leave it like that. We know what 2 squared is. x squared plus y squared, and even if it was a number you didn't know what, how to, you know what the square was, you could just use a calculator. But I bet everybody knows that 2 squared is 4. So the equation of the circle here is x squared plus y squared equals 4. Let's see if I can get that into the box. There we go. Oops. There we go. Now it's in my box.
right? And that's all there is to writing the equation of a circle at, with the center at the origin. In your notes, I'll just go back to the beginning, because the notes don't look on just this part, because there are uh, some derivations that just didn't go into your notes. Um, on this part, it doesn't look exactly like your notes. So you should have the blank filled in. Right? So just fill in radius in your notes. And you should have this in your notes. Okay. And you know what? Add in the extra triangles, just kind of showing. All right? So add the triangles to your notes. And you can just call them all x, y. And then the only other thing you had needed to put in your notes um, is the fill in here. All right? So put that in your notes. And it was a fill in. And since this circle is not in your notes, I won't have you fill that in. And this circle is not in your notes, I won't have you fill that in either. Um, and that's going to end this video. So in the next video, you're going to learn how to write equations of circles where the, or the uh, center is not at the origin, for instance. A problem like this one. What will happen if the center is not at the origin? Now what do we do? All right, so tune in to the next video and you'll find out what to do. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.